Hello, my name is Melinda Walters, and I serve as an instructional designer at University of the Cumberlands. And I'm going to give you a brief course tour of strategies and practices for fitness professionals, a 2022 Blackboard ECP award winner. And Dr. Elizabeth Christopher is our faculty member who also served as a subject matter expert and helped us design and develop this course. So the course opens on the announcements page with a brief welcome announcement, as well as an intro video from Dr. Christopher. Here is a little snippet from Dr. Christopher to her students about this course. Now, one thing to point out, we have designed this course to help you guys prepare for the national certification of personal training. And we hope that at the end of this course, you guys pursue that certification and become a certified personal trainer because we know that with that certification, you're going to have so many more job opportunities open up to you in the field of exercise science. So keep that in mind as you are going through this course and treat this course as if you are studying and preparing for that certification exam. The Start Here section does have some course expectations as well as a link to a peer forum where students are prompted to interact with their classmates and other academic and institutional resources available. There's also a bio section for the instructors to put in, uh, so students can click right there and get their instructor contact information quickly and easily in the course. The main content of the course is, of course, under the content area. And this course is an eight-week course. It is broken down into weekly folders. And each folder has a consistent navigation. So I will show you what one folder looks like. At the top of every folder, there is the weekly overview and objectives, which is a brief narrative and the objectives that students are trying to achieve that week, as well as a video from the instructor that talks about the week and hits highlights and important information that students need to focus on for that week. And below that is the learning material section. So these are all the study materials for students that week, including readings, any kind of PowerPoints, as well as some videos, um, things that students really need to watch and read up front to help them prepare for what's next, which is the final section of the weekly page, which is the assignment section. Uh, you, you may notice there are no folders in this week within this weekly folder. We tried to keep the clicks to a minimum, so everything is laid out with just these blue section dividers, so students don't have to click multiple times in and out of folders to find things. Once they click in their week, they have everything they need. So in this final section toward the end of the folder is assignments. And one of the highlights of this course is the authentic assessment that helps prepare students for this personal trainer certification, the case studies. They provide an uh, an example of a patient or a client and their health history. And uh, students are then, they're given that information and they are then prompted with questions about how they would formulate a uh, training program, an exercise training program for this particular patient given their history and their needs. And then they are also asked to uh, discuss that with their peers. So there are some additional questions given in um, a peer discussion that week for students to interact and learn more about that case and the protocols and strategies that they're using um, to help one another learn from each other. And uh, in teaching the course, this is something that we found very valuable. Uh, the quizzes are multiple choice, but they also include some scenario-based questions. And again, they help them prepare uh, for that personal training certification. And in the final week of the course, if I go back to the content, and look at the final week, which is week eight. Again, there's overview and objectives, but there's also some additional information about becoming a certified personal trainer, which was one of the major aims again for this course, um, and as well as some videos about that, and a final comprehensive exam that will again also help them prepare. So they're meeting their course objectives while working toward this national certification. And that is our tour. Thank you.